It's my one day at a time survival guide to online teaching. And it really is one day at a time because I release my assignments at 9 a.m. in the morning and the assignments are due 24 hours later, 9 a.m. the next day. And then I tell my students that I will try to hand back their assignments graded, edited, in 24 hours from that time. So it really is on a sort of a daily cycle here. And to do that, I need to really limit my material. I mean, really limit. So I'm traveling much slower than I used to. And that allows the students to do the homework with very few issues. And also it allows me to give them feedback on it. So what I'm trying to do is remain engaged with them, critique their work on a daily basis, and on a daily basis, encourage them. To do this, I'm using standard equipment, Google Docs and Google Quizzes in the form of Google Forms. And I make those Google Forms so that the students can take them multiple times. And I include an answer key so they can check their answers and go back and really try to get things perfect. I also use YouTube. I embed videos in Google Classroom. I'm going to show you how I link to that. And of course, I use Google Classroom as my platform for all this stuff. It all ties together there. Once I've got it all together in Google Classroom, I make a, a kind of a placeholder in Veracross, just saying, generally, here's what we're doing today, and go to Google Classroom to get details. So let me show you how I put this all together. I've got an assignment partially built here. Got my title, and I like to put my instructions in a step-by-step -step format so they know exactly what they're doing. And then over here, I've got uh, all students in Latin 3. I do assign points because I grade every day, and I do it very quickly, sort of impressionistically. Now, the due date, I'm going to set this to 24 hours after release. Very important to put the time in there. So I say 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. You've got 24 hours to do it. I like to keep this all organized by um, unit. And then over here, show you how to add all those bits. So I've got from Google Drive, I'm looking for something very recent. It's this document right here. Pop that in there. Oop, did that go in? Google Drive. Look at my recents. I'm going to add that. OK. Let me just refresh here. Maybe that's the problem. Because I like to see the Google Doc in there. So coming back in here, I'm going to edit. And there it is. Now, here's, this is really important right over here. You can see um, right now it's set to students can view file. But you want to change that to make a copy for each student. That's really important, because that's going to be their work, which they then hand in. Now, back over here, next thing I'm going to add is that quiz, because I've got it next in order. That's also from Google Drive. And over here, oh, there it is, right there, that Google quiz. I'm going to add that. That shows up. Make sure this isn't locked mode. And then the last thing you can see up here, watch video. That's right there. So I'm going to add a YouTube. And that sets me up right here with this place to look. So now I'm going to go to my YouTube channel over here. And here's the lesson that I built for this. Let me get that to come up. And... All right, I'm going to get that shareable link, and then I'm going to go back to Google Classroom, paste it in there, and search, and it comes right up. So now I'm going to embed that, and I've got my assignment all set. Now, another really important thing, 
I like to be really, really predictable for the students. So I assign that at exactly 9 a.m. So down here, yes, this is going to go out tomorrow, Wednesday, at 9 a.m. You can see I've been using 9 a.m., so it's in there by default. And now I click Schedule, and I'm all set. And there we go.